everyone, it's Miss Carly here at the Palos Heights Public Library. I'm going to bring you the first Little Wigglers of the month. So parents, get your babies and get them in your lap and let's get started. Our theme today is for National Library Week, books and libraries. So we're going to start with our hello song. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your nose? And I've brought Corduroy the Bear to help us. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose, touch your nose. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. How about our ears? Where's baby's ears? Well, hello everybody, can you touch your ears? Touch your ears, touch your ears. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your ears? Touch your ears. How about baby's toes? Well, hello everybody, can you touch your toes? Touch your toes, touch your toes. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Good job. Now, because it's National Library Week, we're gonna do a song called, If You're a Reader and You Know It, and you might recognize the tune. If you're a reader and you know it, clap your hands. If you're a reader and you know it, clap your hands. If you're a reader and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're a reader and you know it, clap your hands. Okay. Shout hooray. If you're a reader and you know it, shout hooray. If you're a reader and you know it, shout hooray! If you're a reader and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a reader and you know it, shout hooray! All right, how about we read a book? If you're a reader and you know it, read a book. If you're a reader and you know it, read a book. If you're a reader and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're a reader and you know it, read a book. Very good job. Okay, I'm going to put corduroy down. I'm going to bring out a little shaker, a little egg shaker. So if you don't have an egg shaker at home, you could just grab any toy that makes noise or any instrument, or you could just clap your hands. And we're going to do a little song. We shake our shakers together. We shake our shakers together. We shake our shakers together because it's fun to do. We shake our shakers together, we shake our shakers together, we shake our shakers together because it's fun to do. We shake them up high, and we shake them down low. We shake them in the middle, we shake them in a circle. We shake our shakers together, we shake our shakers together, we shake our shakers together because it's fun to do. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna play popcorn. So, ready? Hold your shaker up. Pop, 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 put the corn in the pot. Pop, 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 lift the lid, and what have you got? Popcorn! You can drop your shaker for baby, it's lots of fun. Let's do that one more time. Pop, 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 put the corn in the pot. Pop, 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 lift the lid, and what have you got? Popcorn! Good job. We're going to put our shaker or toy away, and we're going to read our first book today. Our first book today is called Lola Loves Stories with Daddy, written by Anna McQuinn and illustrated by Rosalind Birdshow. Lola goes to the library with Daddy on Sundays. Oh, Saturdays. The library is busy, but Lola finds lots of books. That night, Lola's daddy reads a story about a fairy princess. Lola wears a fancy dress and a crown all the next day. She is a fabulous fairy princess. On Sunday night, Lola and her daddy read about an exciting journey. The next day, Lola flies a plane. On Monday night, daddy reads a story about tigers. The next day, Lola chases her friend all over the jungle. On Tuesday night, Lola and her daddy read about buildings. The next day, Lola fixes up her house. On Wednesday night, Lola's daddy makes up a story about magic shoes. The next day, Lola's shoes sparkle. 
On Thursday night, Daddy reads Lola a story about a monster. What will Lola be on Friday? Any guesses? Hmm. She can use her imagination or read another book. Okay, I'm going to bring Corduroy back. The song is called We Wiggle and Wiggle and Stop. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and stop. We wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and wiggle and stop. How about we clap? We clap and we clap and we stop. We clap and we clap and we stop. We clap and 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 we stop. And how about we wave? We wave and we wave and we stop. We wave and we wave and we stop. We wave and 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 we stop. Good job. And you could keep doing that song at home with baby, adding lots of different verses. All right, we're going to do a little bounce. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Bumping up and down in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? How about we wave? Waving to my friends in my little red wagon. Waving to my friends in my little red wagon. Waving to my friends in my little red wagon. Won't you be my darling? Good job. Okay, we have another bounce. And this one's called Mother and Father and Uncle John. Mother and father and Uncle John went to market one by one. Mother fell off and father fell off. But Uncle John went on and on and on and on and on and on. So that one's fun because you can move baby different directions and then you can bounce them faster. Let's do that one more time. Mother and father and Uncle John went to market one by one. Mother fell off and father fell off. And Uncle John went on and on and on and on and on. Good job. Okay, it is time for our next book. So I'm going to put Corduroy down again. And we are going to read about Lola's brother, Leo. This is Leo. And this book is called Leo Loves Baby Time, written by Anna McQuinn and illustrated by Ruth Hirsch Hirschen. So Lola's the big sister to Leo. Leo loves Wednesdays. He eats his breakfast. He puts on his jacket. He sits in the stroller. Then off he goes to baby time. Everyone says, hello. Then they sing the happy song. Then they play peekaboo with scarves. That looks like fun. Then they sing the stretching song and the rolly song. Next, they play with their animals. That's Leo's favorite part. Then they wiggle their fingers and clap their hands. They wave their arms and kick their legs. They ride the bus and their horses. Then they zoom to the moon. Last, there's time for a cuddle, a story, and making new friends. The end. Leo has lots of fun. Okay, it is time for our animal songs. So I'm gonna need your help with animal noises. Let's see who we have first. When cat wakes up in the morning, when cat wakes up in the morning, when cat wakes up in the morning, she always says, meow, meow, meow. Good job. Let's see who we have next. It's Froggy. When Frog wakes up in the morning, when Frog wakes up in the morning, when Frog wakes up in the morning, he always says, ribbit, 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 ribbit. Good job. Let's see who's next. It's Owl. When Owl wakes up in the morning, when Owl wakes up in the morning, when Owl wakes up in the morning, she always says, hoo, hoo, hoo. Good job. Okay. We are going to do a little lullaby. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. So I'm going to get corduroy all snuggled up. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. 
up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are so lullabies are really important because they teach baby new words which is always important for development they can help soothe baby and they're just fun for you and baby to snuggle so we're gonna do it one more time twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are up above the world so high like a diamond in the sky twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are good job it's time for a goodbye song unfortunately and it's called we wave goodbye like this we wave goodbye like this we wave goodbye like this with our friends and story time we wave goodbye like this but we clap we clap goodbye like this we clap goodbye like this with our friends and story time we clap goodbye like this and finally how about we rock we rock goodbye like this we rock goodbye like this with our friends and story time we rock goodbye like this Thanks for joining me, friends. I'll see you next week for another Little Wigglers, and happy National Library Week. Bye!